Jimmy, I understand that you've interviewed a lot of the top names in the business, and obviously over the years you've kind of perfected your style for Clover Leaf. How did you go about developing the format for your show? Well, I, uh, I, I kind of just thought about it, and there was, you know, everybody was either just talking about wrestling or were doing some kind of elaborate scheme of a show and all sorts of stuff, and there wasn't really anything that revolved around interviews anymore. It was kind of just uh, there, there wasn't much happening besides, uh, you know, shoot interview style stuff and stuff that was really rated R and adult oriented and I kind of wanted to just have my show rated G and not curse so everybody could listen to it and then I uh, branched out from interviewing just wrestlers until I've, I've interviewed a bunch of actors now too and some other miscellaneous celebrities so I just have tried to uh, just try to give the fans what they want and uh, have fun doing it. You know, a lot of people agree that your show is fun to listen to, me being one of them. And you've had the opportunity to interview a lot of the bigger names in the business. Who do you think was the hardest to get a good interview out of? I know sometimes people are a little bit more quiet and reserved as opposed to some uh, others in well, the business. I'll say the one that was hardest and the one I probably didn't like, I actually didn't like the most, I might actually mentioned it last time I was on the show, but it was Nick Bockwinkle, and that's because he was just really uh, egotistical, and he was answering with uh, one-word answers, and it just wasn't a good interview. Do you think there was any specific reason why he wasn't more open and talkative on that particular day? Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've never talked to him since then or before then, so, you know, it could have just been a bad day or something, but... You know, you never know. I just, uh, he was the one I, I I never liked. I'd still say it was the worst interview ever, and I guess I could just leave it at that. 